Hey everyone, and welcome to episode number two for the 2013 Summer Shred Off Challenge. Today's episode is figuring out your daily macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, protein, and fat. I know this is very confusing for some people, so I've made this entire video to help you figure it out. So take a seat at your computer or pull out your smartphone and we can get started. Step number one is calculating your BMR. BMR stands for Basal Metabolic Rate, which is the amount of energy or calories burned daily by humans. So if you laid in bed for 24 hours at rest, your BMR is how many calories your body burns. Once your BMR is figured out, we must determine what your TDEE is. TDEE stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure, which is the total amount of calories you burn daily when active. Got it? To figure out your TDEE, you'll first need to determine your body fat percentage. To calculate your body fat, you have a few options. Your best option is to get a 7-site skin fold test. You can get this done at most gyms. Your second option is to click the first link below in the description and enter your measurements. You'll need a tape measure to accurately input your measurements into the body fat calculator. If you're too lazy to do either of these, you can guesstimate your body fat by looking at these pictures. Pick the percentage that looks closest to you. Got it? Now we can move on. Now that you've figured out your body fat percentage, it's time to calculate your BMR and TDEE. Click the second link below in the description and input your weight, activity multiplier, based off of the chart below. Finally, enter your body fat percentage and your goal, which in this challenge is to lose fat. Press the calculate button and boom, there is your total daily energy expenditure. Pretty simple, right? The next step is determining our body type. Are you an ectomorph? This is someone who is naturally skinny, has a smaller, narrower bone structure, and has a hard time gaining weight. Are you a mesomorph? Mesomorphs are naturally built, have broader shoulders, and have the ability to gain or lose weight equally. Are you an endomorph? Endomorphs are naturally heavier, have a wide bone structure, and gain weight quickly. This is important because I want to make sure your diet specifically fits you based off of your body fat and body type. Once you've figured out which body type you are, it's time to figure out your macronutrients. The next step is to click the third link in the description below. This will link you to our calorie macronutrient calculator, which I will customize your protein, carbohydrates, and fat intake based off of your body type. First, enter your daily calories into the box. This is the number we figured out earlier, otherwise known as your total daily energy expenditure. Click the show grams per meal box and enter 5. Now it's time to focus on the bottom percentage sliders. For ectomorphs, slide the carbohydrates to 43% since you have a high tolerance for carbs. Slide the protein to 37% and the fat to 20%. Notice the grams per meal numbers to the right. This is how many grams of carbohydrates, protein, and fat you'll consume on workout days. For endomorphs, slide the carbohydrates to 25, since you have a low carbohydrate tolerance and slower metabolism. Slide the protein to 35 and the fat to 40. For mesomorphs, start by sliding the carbohydrates to 30, the protein to 35, and the fat to 35%. I feel these percentage ratios will help each of you out individually. We are all different and should follow a diet based off of our lifestyle and body type. Now that we've calculated our calories and macronutrients for workout days, we must discuss nutrient timing. Nutrient timing is based off of how our bodies handle different types of foods at different times. Making sure our nutrient timing is correct will improve our body composition, athletic performance, and recovery. Let's start with protein. Protein will be distributed equally throughout the day. This means you will take your total protein number and divide it by 5 meals. So if your total protein intake is 200 grams daily, you'll consume 40 grams of protein every meal. This will stay the same for workout and non-workout days. For carbohydrates, I recommend you consume 30% of your total carbohydrates pre-workout, 30% post-workout, 16% for breakfast, and 12% for meal 4 and meal 5, making up 24%. So if your total carbohydrates for a day was 300 grams, to figure out your pre-workout carbohydrate intake, simply times 300 times 0.30, and you'd get 90 grams. 
Do the same for all the other percentages until you figure it out your total carb intake for each meal. For fat intake, I recommend consuming smaller percentages of fat pre and post workout and a higher amount for the other three meals. For breakfast, consume 22%, pre-workout 15%, post-workout also 15%, meal number four will be 26%, and meal number five will be 22%. So now you might ask, well what if my pre-workout meal is my breakfast? Simply eat your pre-workout meal, consume your post-workout meal after, and then have your breakfast ratios for meal number three, followed by four and five. Got it? All meals should be spaced out every three to four hours. Now that we've figured out everything for workout days, let's discuss what you'll be eating for non-workout days. For non-workout days, we'll be expending less energy and we'll be consuming less food. For non-workout days, I recommend keeping protein intake exactly the same as you would for workout days. So workout days and non-workout days will have the same exact amount of protein in them. For carbohydrates, I recommend a 10 to 20% drop in total daily carbohydrates based off of how your body responds. For the first week, start with 10%. So if you were consuming 300 grams of carbohydrates, for example, on workout days, on non-workout days, you take 300 and times it by 0.10 and get 30. Simply minus the 30 grams of carbohydrates off of your 300 grams and you'd come to the total of 270 grams of carbohydrates. Now, since you're not working out, I recommend you evenly distribute your carbohydrates each meal, just like protein. So if your lowered carb intake for non-workout days was 270 grams, you consume 54 grams of carbs per meal. That's 270 divided by 5. For fat intake, I recommend ecto and mesomorphs leave fat alone. Do not adjust fat intake for non-workout days unless you are an endomorph. For endomorphs, I also recommend starting with a 10% drop in total fat grams per day. After you've figured all of this out, make sure you write and record everything down so you don't forget. These are all your starting numbers and will need to be adjusted as your fat loss starts to stagnate. To make sure you're hitting all these numbers, I highly recommend joining a calorie counter website or you can download a calorie app on your phone. Calorie King has always been my go-to website for making sure I'm hitting all of my daily numbers. This part is so important to your success. I hope this video doesn't discourage you, and I know it's a lot of work, but like I said in the beginning, this challenge is not for the weak. Good luck everyone, you are officially on the right track.